In this video I'd like to show you a couple of ways to enable text-to-speech either on a Chromebook or in the Chrome browser. The first thing that you're going to need to do is get to the Chrome Web Store by getting to the Apps um, icon and then clicking on Store and then browsing for the two extensions that we're going to demonstrate in this video. So the first one that I want you to take a look at is called Read Write for Google and this extension is unique because it works within the Google Drive um, environment and most schools are adopting Chromebooks because of Google Drive and that ability to work on documents 24 7 and from multiple devices etc the instant saving all of those benefits so you see here that I've installed the read write uh, extension and it it's located up here in the URL bar, which is different from other extensions which tend to exist over here on the side. If it's the first time that you're installing this extension, you may also be prompted with some additional um, agreement splash pages that you'll need to go through. So I'm going to go ahead and start by looking at a Google Doc that I have open here, and I'm just going to refresh that really quickly to show how the toolbar then um, looks inside of a Google document. So you'll notice that the extension icon is no longer located up here in the URL bar but is now down here just above the Google Docs toolbar. If I click on the little down arrows this will give me access now to all of my features. When you first install this extension you do have a 30-day preview of the premium features. Those include some pre word prediction and a, a visual dictionary, some highlighting tools with word extraction, um, collecting those highlights, and a pretty powerful vocabulary tool. These are fantastic and uh, probably well worth the money, um, but many districts being um, strapped for cash are probably going to end up just using the free features which enables the text-to-speech. So this play button, the pause button, and the stop button will be what are available after that 30-day trial. So the way to get this started is you just put your cursor somewhere on the screen and click play. The one-click QR code and then click pause when you want to stop. You'll notice that it'll highlight a sentence in yellow and then use blue highlighting as each individual word is read. I've used text-to-speech with students in the past and found that some students like the ability to listen to the computer read. Others are somewhat put off by the voices and so they often will turn down the volume but still use the word highlighting and then use that as a way of monitoring their reading. So that it gives some flexibility for students. One thing that you will want to be aware of is that to change the settings as far as the speed and the voice, you do have to do that from within Google Drive when you want to use this extension. You can't change the settings of the extension when using this text-to-speech tool say while reading an article on the web. So I'll click here on settings and this is where I can choose the various voices and I'm just gonna go here and make sure that I've got a voice up and then I can change the speed of the voice. I can also decide whether it's going to read continuously or if it's only going to read what is highlighted on the page. So now I'm going to demonstrate this same extension but from within a uh, different uh, context. So we'll just go again to an article on the web. We'll go to CNN and uh, take a look at what's happening in the Ukraine. So I have this article here and if I want to use the read write extension what I have to do is I come up here to the URL bar and click on the extension and it brings down a different um, toolbar than what we saw in Google Drive for this extension. It is by default set to be enabled as a hover tool with the cursor. I find this doesn't work very well, but I'm just going to demonstrate for that for a second. I'm going to come over and hover over the word. Simferopol, Ukraine CNN. Russia does not want to take over Ukraine's Crimea region. And then I'll hit stop. My recommendation is to toggle this so that it's done through highlighting instead. So I'm going to highlight the words that I want read and then come up here and click play. But he showed no signs of backing down over Russia's right to win. So the great thing about this extension is that it works across the internet and also in Google Drive. However there are a few exceptions where this particular extension may not work and you will want to probably have a backup extension for text-to-speech installed. So I'm going to go back to the Chrome store 
And we're going to install another extension called Select and Speak. This extension works very similar to the one that Read Write does. Um, just it seems to work on a few pages when the Read Write one does not. So we'll go ahead and install that. This one will not work inside of Google Drive. So if I were to go to my Google Drive document and highlight some words and then click on this tool and click play, you'll notice that nothing happens. But if I go to the article here, I can highlight the words and then come up to the extension and click on it. In defiant words, he said what had happened. And then I can stop it. I can also right click on top of the words and then do speak text. In defiant words, he said what had happened in Ukraine was an anti-constitutional coup and armed seizure of power. In order to stop it, I'll have to come up here to the extension. I can go into the options and change the voice. I can change the volume and speed. I can use combinations of keyboard shortcuts, etc. So those are some of the settings that are available. This is just a good backup text-to-speech. Again, I prefer the read and write extension. However, I have found that there are a couple of places on the internet where it doesn't work, and so having a backup text-to-speech tool is beneficial.